this right here is my obligatory this is my voice five months on tea tag so there's that um yeah forgive me for looking down i made a list of points to go over in the video and they're right here so okay so most noticeably would be um my voice has changed the most out of anything um i don't know if it's still changing it does still crack it isn't cracking as frequently which i think to me just means maybe it's gonna stop changing soon which is fine with me i think my voice is fine now i'm pretty comfortable with it um yeah i'm actually very comfortable with my voice i'd be fine if it stayed exactly how it is just because i've um heard about guys who say that they lose their ability to sing and things like that and um I have retained what ability I had or didn't have up to you there's videos of me singing on this channel you can discern whether or not I can sing from that and okay Google wants to talk to me no yeah um you can decide whether or not I can actually sing or not from those but that singing ability has been maintained whatever I had before so that's good um, I got a job. I work in an, a restaurant inside of an amusement park, and um, I usually feel like my voice is getting high when I'm on the register, talking to, uh, taking orders. I feel like that is when my voice sounds the highest. I don't know why, but I have never um, not passed with the guests while I was on register. Actually, I don't think I've ever not passed with the guests, to be honest. Um, so yeah, but I am still at work. All my my work documents all say female, and they all have my birth name on them. And I went to um, when you get your costume that you wear, they make name tags for you. And I, the first day, she just put my birth name. I didn't know like they were making them. They just made them while I was getting fitted for the uniform. And so I just went back the next day and asked her, like, I went back when no one was in there, and I explained the whole situation, and she completely was like, okay, whatever, and just made me new name tags. I don't think she needed all of that, like, I think I could have just told her what my preferred name was, and she would have put it. So, my name tags have that. I have two sets of name tags. I have a set with my birth name, a set with my preferred name, I'll use the preferred name set. Um, when I met my supervisor, um, I had a preferred name on my name tag, so... Um, she uses that. I don't know if she knows or not. I'm pretty sure that she doesn't, but I'm not completely sure. And, I mean, she refers to me using my preferred name as male on the schedule. It has my preferred name on it. Like, our schedule is posted. Um, in the back, we're like in the like employee area, so it it has everyone's name on it. Mine has my preferred name on it and everything like that, and she, that's what she calls me. And I mean, I do all the male stuff. I was I was joking with a coworker um, who's also pretty new. He started like a few days before me. That because we a lot of the people who work in my location are girls. Every time something is either like it involves heavy lifting or it's very gross, we have to do it. <laughs> Because we're guys, so I I mean I get treated the same way as any other other guy employees do. Let's see what else. My um body care has been um just like the areas that were getting thicker before or continuing to do that. So like inside my thighs, like up on my knees. Really weird. I now have hairs in the backs of my knees. I don't know if everyone has that. I don't, I've never looked at the bins of anyone's knees before in my life, so I don't know if people have hair there, but maybe they, I do, so I'm assuming other people do. Out of here, facial hair. I don't have facial hair. I, well, okay, I don't have facial hair because it's shaved, because I used to have sideburns that went down to yay long, maybe. And at work, I to have them cut to here, and then one day I was shaving, and I messed up, and I like, cut it diagonally, kind of, it was bad, and so I just cut it up here and put it down on both sides. This side grows back faster than this side. My entire life I've had sideburns, and this one's always been thicker, the right one. And, um, 
So I have like a few hairs that grow in thickly right here. And a few that grow in pretty dark right here, but you can't see them because the sliding is horrible on this camera stuff. And this one doesn't really do much. I haven't tried to grow them back in since they got chopped off on accident because I can't really grow in. I don't have enough days off at a time to grow in facial hair. I have like two days off at a time. So acne, um, I, the reason I do shave so frequently, I, I shave um, every third day. So I go two days in between days that I shave and I started, I don't need to shave that often. I don't have that much hair, but the reason I do it that often is because it helps my acne not flare up as much. And my, it's been really clearing up and my scars are getting a lot better. Um, because I've been using this stuff. It's like, uh, I got it from Ralph's, which if you're not in California, it's Kroger. Um, I don't know why, ours is called Ralph's. But, um, Kroger makes, like, this, like, knockoff clean and clear. It's like the same stuff, it says the same level of ingredients and everything, like the same amount, but it's cheaper. And, like, Kroger's packaging looks just like clean and clear. I don't know if I talked about this in another video or not, but... It looks just like clean and clear, but that stuff works. Like it's the deep exfoliating scrub or something. It's like blue. It smells like minty and amazing, and it like it cools your face. Like it's just nice. So that's what I do, and that's about it. I think I've put on some good muscle mass since the time that I've started tea for five months. I don't know if you can see that. All the tricep gains back there. The triceps and bicep. Yeah, I'm not really good at posing or anything, so yeah. Yeah, I'll, oh, I want to talk about dysphoria. Dysphoria. Um, I will talk about everything except for in the gym, because that'll be a separate video. Um, I feel as though my dysphoria has gotten better overall, and then worse on certain areas. I'm attributing this to being, to me being out of that, uh, like dorm environment where I was in like a um like quote unquote female environment surrounded by people who were female. Um I feel like that made me dysphoric because I was put there because I was supposed to have been the same as the people that I was around and that sort of categorization and labeling in terms of my environment made me feel dysphoric because it was just like reminding me of the things about my body that I was uncomfortable about. Um, yeah, so I feel like being home now and being mostly, I, I really, I go to the work, I go to work, I go to the gym and I go in the kitchen and make food and I come here and like go to sleep. So I'm very much not very cognizant about, I don't have time to worry about my body as much as I did before. Um, I do, I still do, whoa, I do still have, um, issues like when I wake up in the morning or when I wake up from being asleep, that's pretty difficult, that's probably the extent of my dysphoria, um, that, and if I ever have to go to the bathroom at work, that that kind of kills me. I do. I use them in the bathroom at work, but it's like it's not a, it's not like in the park. It's in the back, with the rest of the employee stuff. We have our own, and they're single stall bathrooms. Um, it's just you open the door and, yeah, and so, and the door locks. So I go in. It's kind of the optimal situation to be honest. Um, I go in and all that. It's just the fact of not being able to like, stand up. Um, I do pack with a packer that's SDP, but I don't want to, like, have an accident at work, like, that'd be really bad, so, um, yeah, so those are probably the only times that my dysphoria actually bothers me, but it's just waking up, because, like, dreaming, sleep, dreaming, I'm completely, you know, like, everything is copacetic, everything's all flat, you know, looking all swole, all that, and then I wake up, and then I'm all like, oh my gosh, you know, like, I, I wake up, and then it's, like, it, reality sets in, and it's kind of, that's, waking up is hard, but, um, other than that, it's not really that big of a deal, I've paid attention more to binding, um, just because I want to remain stealth at work, I like being stealth, it's easier for me, um, 
it has lessened my dysphoria a lot, and I would like to keep it that way for as long as possible. So yeah, so I feel like I've that dysphoria has gotten a lot better and everything, and that's my five month update. Um, I'm gonna make another video right now, and it's gonna explain all the gym stuff. And so, yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for being patient with me while I fell off the face of the earth for a little bit. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.